Yo, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Mumbly. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. And today, we're going to be going over some trading tips for FIFA 21. If you guys do enjoy the video, feel free to smack the like button and subscribe if you're new. Now, this, I'm going to go into explanation why I feel like it's going to work. It worked in FIFA 20 for me. It was one of the things that got me to my first million and kind of just like progressed me through League SBCs and everything moving forward. I'll explain. So we're not going to have League SBCs at the start of FIFA 21. Typically, it takes a little bit of time for them to come out, a couple months, no biggie. So therefore, things like the bronze back method aren't going to be as big at the start, especially this year with them not having fitness cards. We're going to have to see how that affects the market. When it comes to the bronze back method, you're going to make those coins later on. When we see League SBCs and Icon SBCs come out, you can still try to make coins off of them. I will. But I think there is a different tip that's going to make you more coins at the start. That is going to be silver bidding. Now, let me explain. So I have pulled up right here a marquee matchup from, I think it was the beginning of FIFA 20. So we're going to put it right here. This is a solution for one of them. Um, basically, you just need, where is it? Four nationalities, um, two minimum from the air to V's, uh, minimum chem 80 gold players, minimum of two. And then basically you can throw in whatever players you want. There are going to be a lot of SBCs like this where you can put in bronzes, you can put in silvers, you don't necessarily have to use a full team of golds. And especially if it's not a main league, a lot of cards are going to be used that are lower in value. So what I'm thinking to myself is maybe not as many people are going to be opening bronze packs at the start of FIFA this year without fitness cards, because that's the main reason why I feel like people opened them before there's league SBCs. People like me, what I did was I used silver cards. And I'll give you an example. So this guy right here, Baker, he's currently going for 800 coins. And obviously, that's a jump from Xbox. He's 650. PC, he's 300. And obviously, if you're playing FIFA 20 right now, no one's going to buy this card. But what's important is the nationality and the position. Because you're going to be wanting to use cards that get chem. As you see throughout the Steam, he's using a lot of different English bronzes to get them to link together and have enough coins to finish the team. Now, the importance of these marquee matchups and why I think it's going to be a good investment for you to use silver players is everyone kind of does them for the ultimate reward. Reward. So for this one, it's premium gold players pack. You get that after you complete all four of the marquee matchups, not just the single team. So you have the higher end ones that are going to give you like the Milan versus Inter, teams that you have to complete then you have the lower ended ones like the bc uh, bsc young boys versus Brazil sort of teams so i have a list of the confirmed fifa 21 players that are silver so far it looks like it's a lot of the rare ones i'm trying to see if they have some non-rares in here um maybe i i literally can't tell what's rare and what's non-rare right now i tried to put uh the rating to only non-rare silvers but it wasn't working earlier let me try it again uh silver non-rare boom there we go okay so we have some cards in now what you're going to want to do is look for two different things well three one rating if it's a higher rating like let's say high 60s 270s it's going to be usable you want to look for nationality if it's like french if it's brazilian something popular that can be used in a lot of different solutions that's going to cause it to go up in price and then also positioning. If it's a defender, maybe you can throw a left back into the team um, where you don't need to link as many players on the field. It's not an essential position. It might go for more. And we're not looking for crazy sort of profit. We're not looking for crazy sort of um, bids to happen. What I basically did was I would bid 150 on a lot of players like this. And then throughout the game, he would go up and down in price. But I was just looking to double my coins. So I bid 150. Try to sell it for 300. Now, this can be done throughout the week. It can be done during marquee matchups. You can do it whenever. Typically, how I found success in FIFA 20 is I would bid consistently throughout the week. Some hours, it would be easier to get bids than others. Sometimes, I would go to buy now for 200 coins if they were popping. Try to get the price to go up a little bit. Because if there's a bunch of cards that you can buy now for 200 coins, what's the likelihood that someone's going to buy it for 300 so typically what I'd do was I'd just bid on a lot, then I'd buy now the 200s, just hold them, keep them off the market, driving the price up a little bit, 
and then I'd sell at 300 and it consistently worked throughout the year. Um, but obviously as more SBCs came out, league SBCs, I was able to make more coins that way. But at the start, this is going to be a good method. And I'll show you an example right here. We will take, where is he? Baker. He's a CDM. He's Netherlands. So this could potentially be a good link. We're just going to check his price, how he went up throughout the game. So at the start, he was around 200 coins. So you could bid him at 150 and you just have random times where his price would spike. You could say this is due to people trying to sell coins to each other, maybe give their friends some coins, but this is what I'm talking about in terms of SBC solutions. If you have, let's say, 20 different Netherlands silvers and then another 20 different French ones, you're going to have a bunch of different cards that are going to go up in different solutions on Footbin and all the other, these other sites that people are using is going to make you coins. So it's not necessarily gambling that you're going to make that money. You're almost guaranteed to make it. Worst case scenario, if you pick up one of these cards for 150 and you sell it for 150 start, 200 by now, I don't know what the exact amount, but it's like, I think less than 10 coins you're going to lose on the card if you sell it for 150. So you're not losing out on basically anything. And it's a really good investment to make too. What I typically do is I go through each league. So I would start with, let's say something like Argentina league because I won, think it's going to be a league SBC later on. So I kind of want to store some cards for that so I can complete it when it comes out. But two, I think people are going to use in solutions. So I'd go through, I'd store all these cards in my club and I would sell the duplicates, go through each league, do that. So I'm all filled up. Then too, by the way, if you guys um, didn't forget, which I think a lot of people do underestimate the value of these early on, since people aren't going to be doing, I think, bronze packs as much at the start, you're still going to have people who want to do their gold upgrade packs to get the two rare gold player picks, especially since I think a lot of people are going to be trying to get cards into their team early on that aren't the most expensive in the world. Because if you don't have a lot of coins, you can't buy the big end players. So some people are going to want to try to gamble and get that completed. If we take advantage of that and have a club full of silvers, we can do the silver upgrade for relatively cheap if we're bidding 150 on all these cards, selling on them for profit. The ones we keep in our club, if we want to put them into this, we put 11 of these in, we get three non-rare golds, and then we just kind of use those cards if you want. You can put them in your team, uh, or you can put them into the gold upgrade yourself and try your luck. I know I did this quite a bit since I was first owner last year, and it worked for me. I don't know if you guys want to spend the time doing that. That's more of a grinding method. But basically, just what I wanted to tell you is it works. It's something that I plan on doing. And if you don't believe me, I will show you the progression of me doing it. Maybe show you some filters that can get you some quicker sales. But overall, I think this would be a good tip to start right after you get onto the web app. Um, I don't know if people are going to during the web app before early access. So on Wednesday. I don't know how popular this method is going to be, but throughout the week, I will definitely be using it. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. It's been your boy Mumbley. I'm out. Peace.